Welcome back. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Business Talks. I am your host, Shawan Burns. In today's episode, we are going to talk about the village of Dalton. Dalton, Dalton, Dalton. We just learned that the FBI raided the village of Dalton. I have some updates that I want to share with you in regards to that matter. I think Tiffany is probably hiding out in the basement or she just probably wasn't there. Somebody probably told her, Hey, you want to slip through the tunnel? <laughs> you want to slip through the tunnels before they get here. Um, but they were looking for documents. So we'll discuss that. And if we have more time, I had another show plan. Maybe we'll uh, discuss some other items. So you guys stay tuned. <laughs> You guys put in the chat, let me know where you're viewing from. Put in the chat, let me know where you're viewing from. I see we got Noble Young in the building. Thank you for tuning in. Stop the violence. Yo, the picture of her in the red rag is crazy. <laughs> yeah, that I thought that was funny. So that's why I put it up there. Um, fall failing at life so bad. Thank you for tuning in. Um, Angel Galvin is in the building. Um, we also have MLK or Milk 35. Big Mike is in the building. Verna Welch, thank you for tuning in. It's good to see you. The Warrior is in the building. Um, George Arnar Thomason is in the building. Thank you for tuning in. We have a sweet Jesse Big Daddy Scott. Thank you for tuning in. John Allen, we got Gary Williams. Uh, Lexi, it's good to see you. Um, Patricia Day, David Thompson, or David, David Thomas, Creole, Johnny Freak, and much, much more. Uh, you guys, thank you for tuning in. We, I see we got Little Rock, Mount Morris is in the building, and um, Lana L from Tennessee is in the building. It's, it's so good to see you guys um, in this a great day. You know, all our hard work is starting to pay off. I know if you're into, you know, you've been following this uh, whole Dalton debacle, you, you're in it. You know, you're in it for um, either just to get the tea or, you know, just you you probably from the village of Dalton or in that from that area and you want to see some type of repercussion for Tiffany and her minions action they are wreaking havoc in the village of Dalton and it is time to stop so we're glad to see that earlier this week Keith Freeman he actually were, was indicted because of bank fraud and you heard that, uh, or bankruptcy fraud, and that story broke on this channel. First, I revealed that Keith Freeman was um, lying on his bankruptcy. And then now this FBI, and remember when I was presenting the story for um, Keith Freeman, you, if you guys want to go back to that live stream, I told you a little birdie told me that the FBI was asking for information that you don't ask for unless you about to go in. You about to go in and collect evidence or people, okay? And so there you have it. This Friday, they came in and they were asking for documents. Now, I'm just gonna uh, play this news report uh, for you guys just to give you um, just a synopsis. They don't know much of nothing. Um, you know, they, they, they're saying that the FBI came in and request to enter, enter into the building. Okay. I guess they was trying to lock them out. I'm, I'm not for sure, but you can't lock the FBI. out. Okay. That's, that's not going to happen. Um, so we had, um, Se several of, of my sources were there at the village of Dalton while all this was happening. Specifically, the F.
Breaking news, FBI activity at the troubled Village Hall in Dalton. CBS 2's Jermont Terry is live there now with what we're learning. Jermont. Erica, the buzz tonight here in South Suburban Dalton is about the feds, specifically the FBI coming into Village Hall behind me this afternoon. It's not clear how long they were inside, but we do know they came with some warrants, excuse me, with some court papers to serve some subpoenas. That gives you some video. It shows the officers, four federal agents came to the Dalton Village Hall in what the FBI calls court authorized activity. The agents were told, uh, we are told, went right to the basement looking for records. The FBI spokesperson will only say it's, quote, an investigative activity. Now, Chopper 2 was over the scene this afternoon, moments after word got out in this village that the feds were in the village hall. Controversy has clouded the south suburban, uh, the south suburb for quite some time under allegations of mismanagement and questions about spending. We've reached out to some various Dalton officials, um, and we actually just talked to one of the trustees about the situation. You're going to hear from her coming up at 10. But at the center, much of the controversy and concern has been Mayor Tiffany Hingard. She's been in office since 2021, and large signs and many of the issues that they've had is about her lacking transparency and the, uh, not knowing about how the money has been spent here in the village. But back here live at 6 o'clock, right now there's one single police uh, vehicle outside a village hall. Again, the feds came in. Exactly why? They came in, the specifics still under investigation, but it has most definitely caught the attention of many of the residents here who have been calling for some type of action, and we wait to see exactly what that action was about. Reporting live in South Suburban Dalton tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News. Erica? All right, Jermont, thank you. Well, we, we know, actually, we know why. We know why. They're looking for evidence. They're looking for uh, documents, remember, uh, a while back, Tiffany Henyard and Keith Freeman tried to get uh, Allison Keys, Allison Keys, um, to Allison Keys. She's the record keeper. Okay, she's the village clerk. They tried to get her to copy every single last document in the village of Dalton. Now, how ludicrous is that? They wanted every single last document in the village of Dalton. Now, I don't, like I said, I don't know when the village of Dalton was formed. It probably was in the early, um, probably late 1800s or, or, or not or late or early 1900s. So it's been around or established for a while. Why in the world would she be able to copy all this, all these documents? Okay, and so um, Jedediah Brown, um, Brown, he had his own take of it, and he he suspected. I guess some of his sources told him that they were looking for documents, the the same very same documents that Tiffany Hinyard and Keith Freeman was asking for. The very same documents because they're trying to cover up their tracks or whatever they're trying to do. But these documents, that's what um, the FBI was asking. So let, let's um, now Jedediah Brown, he looked um, he went live a couple of times um, on his live stream earlier today. Um, but this is the same. He's saying basically, hey, they came in. And they was asking for documents. They and they actually went to the village office or the clerk's office. Okay. I just read something from one of my team members, and this is information that we got. Um, nobody, listen to me. I don't want y'all to be afraid. I'm not afraid, and I just cleared something, and that's why I'm going to tell y'all something that nobody else is going to be able to tell y'all about what happened today at the Dalton Village Hall. But the reason why I decided that I want to tell y'all is because I need y'all this, this, when, when I say the T is T in, I need y'all to see the T. And so I'm going to tell you guys exactly what happened today, but I'm going to wait until I get 200 people on this live. And I'm going to tell you all what, what, what just happened today. I'm going to be specific about what happened today because I want I, this, this T is too damn good to tell this because I just think that this is so interesting. I really think this is so interesting. And I've, I had to talk to my people who were very powerful uh, to make sure that I wasn't doing anything wrong. 
And uh, when I hung up the live, they said, no, you should, you're good. And so with that being said, I'm going to tell it. Now, somebody said, we already know. Let me tell you all what happened today with the FBI. So the FBI came to Dalton Village Hall today, and they said they demanded entry out of that little bitty box area. They took an employee down to the basement of that place. And while they was there, they were specifically looking for, listen to what I'm saying. They were, they were there to get documents. So if they're there to get documents, then they got to go to the persons who have documents. But this is what's crazy. Cause and, and y'all, when I tell y'all this, you got it's very easy to, to, to confirm what I'm saying. Do you all remember I got on live? Please listen to me. I got to share this, Jesus, because I need to. Do you all remember I got on live and I said to the clerk, now we can't stand up for you. We can't stand up for you if you're doing the wrong thing. If the mayor is saying, give me all the records. Y'all, this thing is crazy. If the mayor said, give me all the records, why would you not give her what her job fiduciarily gives her the power to do, which is to inspect the records? Why wouldn't you give them to her? Why would you do to her what she is doing to the people? We can't defend that. If you stop freezing, we can listen. It's freezing. And that's he's talking about the time or what it was a couple of months ago where Tiffany Henyard was asking for all the records. OK. And Big Mike put it in the chat. He said Dalton was established in 1892. So you've been having records if they had a record keeping. And I'm pretty sure they did. If it's a, a, a village or a township, they they've been writing records since 1892. So you want over a hundred years of records. Does that even make any sense? That doesn't even make any sense. Um, and you want to stand in my office while I copy them for you? Okay. And the, probably some of these records is probably not in her office. They're probably in some type of storage somewhere. But anyway. Anyway, I just need y'all to hear this because this is so deep to me. So I got on live and I said to the clerk, we need you to do the right thing if we going to fight this fight the right way. The clerk ran into me the day Lori was appointed. And the clerk said to me, I understand what you're saying. And it's not that I won't give the documents, but this woman was almost in tears. She said, I'm trying to modernize this department because they still using paper. And I think that this stuff should be electronic. And she said, I had to pay for all my training. These people won't even help pay for me to be trained, to be an effective clerk. But she said, this is my background. This is my legacy. This is what I love. I, this is the work that I love. And she said, I wanted to leave Dalton with a legacy of having their records be made electronic. Now, this thing just blows my mind. I said, well, clerk, you do the best you could, but I need you to not do what the mayor is doing, she says, I'm, she says, I will not do that because that's not what I'm about. She said, but it's strange to me that she want me to sit down all day and give her all the records knowing how long the village has been formed. I said, I understand that. And that is an obnoxious ass ass. But I'm thinking to myself, why would she want all the records? And I done got on here now. I didn't have to. And I just smacked the hand of this clerk. I'm not the boss. And she came and she was accountable and it blew my world. And I said, look, girl, you do the best thing. You do the best you can. And so we left it alone. But I said, why don't she want all of the records? Y'all, it is today. It is my understanding. And like I said, I am OK with saying this. I'm not going to get in trouble. We're fine. And we ain't going to mess up nothing. But the FBI went into the village clerk, I mean, village hall today because they wanted the they wanted specific records. And I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all based on what we know and or believe and what I'm alleging. Do you all know that the mayor tried to get the records that the clerk oh when i tell y'all y'all should have thought that was strange why does she want all of the records because she so tried to cover it up i said a whole lot but the fbi came the other day she and they tried to cover it up information that a certain that only certain people have and god that thing is amazing to me that thing is amazing to me i ain't heard this from i didn't hear this from this ain't no secondhand information this, I'm telling y'all, I know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm just not going to say exactly what I'm talking about. But y'all get it? So 
When y'all think that we ain't out here working for real, I know everybody probably like, now how the hell did he know that? We ain't playing. We got, we know everything, every time, everywhere, at any moment. They came, she said, spit it out. And I ain't telling you nothing, Louise. You the one talking about some, my, you, is that the same person that said I was freezing? Listen to me, y'all. I just gave, that was real tea. The live is being reported. It's okay. That's real tea. She wanted all of the records. These people have no insult. Left. This is how I say it. They have no insult level that they was trying to bully this clerk to getting documents to cover up their sins. And that is on my, I put that on God. And they couldn't even get the damn records because their ask wasn't even reasonable and the clerk who is the keeper of the records i officially want to tell you thank you for doing a phenomenal job as being am i freezing for real <laughs> no well he's not freezing i think that's something um going on with his phone <laughs> i don't even know if y'all heard anything i said i don't know if y'all heard anything i said keep somebody else put that in a chat keith freeman went to a, uh, a, well, what well, Tiffany will call it a secret squirrel meeting and asking the village clerk for all the records. A, a total unreasonable request. This one person would not be able to produce all these records. It would take her probably s some months to get copies of all the all these records. Um, and it, that's even if she know where all of them are kept at, because if the village was uh, established in 1892, like I said, some of that stuff is probably in storage by now. Um, so, yeah, we, we got we have Tiffany Henry. She about to go to jail now. Like I said, at the beginning of the week, your boy, Keith Freeman, was indicted. He he was indicted by um because of bankruptcy uh fraud. Let me just pull that up. He was indicted because of bankruptcy fraud. And remember, I keep on taking credit for that because I, I actually exposed him on on that when he originally filed for bankruptcy um senior administrator for dalton illinois in thornton township uh charged in federal court with bankruptcy now reason why i want to bring this up keith freeman is facing a charge right now keith is scared so they they actually came to Keith Freeman and said, hey, we got this charges on you. And he probably like, oh, I don't want to go to jail because he uh, he's a little punk ass. I don't want to go to jail. Don't take me to jail. I, I could give you some information. OK, Mr. Freeman, how can you help us with this case? We see y'all running amok at the village of Dalton and Thornton Township. What information do you have for me? Or can you offer me? And it better be some good information, Keith Freeman. Y'all don't know if y'all don't, y'all don't, let's see, put Keith Freeman picture up there. Uh, Keith Freeman, this, this is him. That's Keith Freeman. I hear he uh, real tall, but he a sucker. He a sucker. And he going around threatening. He threatens little people and women. That's, that's who Keith Freeman is. And I'm assuming you don't call him if, if something going down, if you need somebody, you know, for some muscle you don't you don't call him you only call him if you need a uh, email hack because <laughs> that's what he's doing <laughs> he hacking the emails and erasing them <laughs> one of my sources told me that used to work for the village of dalton they used to go in and erase your email 
after they send out threatening emails, they used to go in and erase the threatening emails saying, oh, if you attend this, you're going to get fired. He used to go back in there and erase it. That, that's your boy, Keith Freeman. So right now he's singing. He's singing like, um, you know, a singing professional, I guess, in a quartet band. <laughs> oh, Keith Freeman is singing. And he's singing on his girl, the girl that got him paid. Now, back to his bankruptcy, because y'all might not remember um, Keith Freeman, let me just um, share this old story with you. Keith Freeman said he was called by God and he was running away from the calling. Keith Freeman said he was running away from the calling to be a civil servant because the last place he worked at was a big mess. That's, that's what he said in this interview. It was a big mess and he was called by God and he did not want to work for a township anymore. That, that's what he said. And coming to find out, Keith Freeman was stealing. Your old Keith was stealing from another village. That's what's in his bankruptcy. But he, he said he was running away from his calling, the call by God. I'm trying to find this video. But really, he was running away because he didn't want to pay that uh, $100,000 that he stole from the village. That's, that's what he was running away from. He stole from another village. And he failed to report that on his bankruptcy. And he's saying that he loves Jesus and he loves Christ. And um, whatever. Uh, is this it? No. Keith Freeman called by God. I forget what it. And, and now his name is. They probably took it down. <laughs> they probably took it down. Keith Freeman called by God because I can't even find it in my history. <laughs> it was his calling to steal the money from the village of Dalton. <laughs> that way he was called by God to steal money from the village of Dalton. Anyway. On his indictment, I wanted to share this with you right quick. Since I can't find that video, I, they probably took it down. Anyway, Freeman also allegedly concealed that the village of Robbins, Illinois, have filed, had filed a claim against him related to approximately $90,000 that Freeman received in excess of his authorized salary while he was the village administrator for Robbins. <laughs> he in the, the town over stealing, stealing, stealing. He stole $100,000. Now on his bankruptcy, he, he was saying that he um only made $45,000 in one year. And that was back in 2022. And that's the same year he got hired in at the village of Dalton. He got hired in in March of 2022. And he said he didn't work. He only made $45,000 a year. That That's what he claimed. He claimed he only made $45,000 a year. It says Freeman also furnished the chapter seven trustee with a purported copy of his 2022 individual tax returns, which represented it, uh, that Freeman's total income. Let me make sure you guys can see this, this total income from his appointment was $45,000. The indictment states Freeman knew he had not filed an income tax return for that year and that his actual income was a hundred thousand dollars because that's how much he was getting paid from the village of Dalton. 
So they got Keith by the balls, the FBI, uh, the DOJ, whoever takes care of the bankruptcy fraud. I think it's a felony, right? Bankruptcy fraud is probably a felony um, if he got indicted. Um, so they got him by the, by the balls and they're, they're probably squeezing them right now. And he's singing. He's singing like a canary. That's why I said a quartet. He's singing like a canary. <laughs> Keith Freeman is singing. He's singing the tune, whatever it is. <laughs> Keith Freeman is singing and he's telling all the business. He was on that Vegas trip. He knows what happened on the Vegas trip. He knows what, what his boy bragging that he stole someone's um, goods because he drugged her. Who am I talking about? Andrew Holmes. Andrew Holmes, all of them, all of them going to jail. This, this is the lineup. Keith Freeman, Andrew Holmes. They going to jail. Andrew Holmes fake ass, wanna be ass, Al Sharpton ass. He's a bootleg Al Sharpton. If you guys Google Andrew Holmes and um and pull him up, Andrew Holmes is the most convenient uh person to find a criminal. He turned his own brother in. You got to be a real, you turned your brother in because he was stealing packages off the porch. I mean, your brother wasn't like killing nobody. He was stealing packages and you turned me in. That's, to me, that's like, okay. Now, I would give my brother like, come on, dude, you can't be going around stealing packages. But will I call the cops on him? No, dude, I would give him a warning. Hey, if I see you again, and if, if I was an activist, if I saw him stealing packages, I would give him a warning. Hey, bro, you can't be stealing packages. You making me look bad. I'm going to have to turn you in. And if I called him again, then I, maybe I would probably, I would probably, I don't know. I don't know. You guys put in the chat. Would you turn your own brother in for stealing packages? This is what Andrew Holmes did. He turned his own brother in for stealing packages because he's an opportunist. He loves to be in a camera. Even with that young lady that walked in that um, freezer, he wanted to exploit her trying to raise money off of her death and didn't do nothing for the family. He's, he's a fraud. Like I said, he's a fraud. And this most recent has nothing to do with him being a fake ass Al, Al Sharpton, but allegedly he has this one charge and allegedly I hear there's another one pending. Some other victim came uh, forward that Andrew Holmes took advantage of her. Some young girl, another young girl. So we, we have Andrew Holmes you know, being sued or, you know, charged with the crime. Well, he hasn't been charged yet. It, it's, it's just allegations have been claimed. And, okay, we got Andrew Holmes. Who else we got? Keith Freeman. Then we have um, your, the, What's her name? Tangelique Miller. She might because she deals with the money. Nobody, nobody's mentioned Tangelique Miller, but she deals with the money. Then we had that guy, the other guy, somebody put in a chat. Who's the um, Thornton? He's the Thornton Township. Um, I don't know if he's the manager. I know Keith Freeman is the manager, but who's like in second under him? But he holds a credit card too. So all, all these people that's um supposed to be under Tiffany, under Tiffany is allegedly doing all these crimes. Now back to Andrew Holmes. 
my last live stream, when we were talking about Michelle Stapleton, remember, not Ms. Stapleton, Michelle Staples, she's a lieutenant. She's a lieutenant at Village of Dalton Police Department, Michelle Stapleton. And she, it was alleged that she was having relations in the jail. Okay. It was alleged, let me just pull her picture up, that she was having relations in the jail. Reason why I'm bringing her up is the victim of Andrew Holmes and the, uh, I guess the witness, the eyewitness, which he's a police officer that corroborated the victim story that Andrew Holmes sexually assaulted this uh, girl. They actually went to South Holland Police Department to make a, the report. Now, why, why is that important? South Holland police chief is married to Michelle Staples, the lieutenant of Village of Dalton. So you guys tell me, do you think they're going to actually investigate or even cooperate with a Vegas detective? Vegas detective is probably going to have to drive down here to force the information out or to get the information from so the South Holland Police Department. They're not going to cooperate with them. I I just I just don't think they're going to cooperate. It's it is uh is led to believe Michelle and um Chief Staples are not together, but I I I don't I can't um I can't put it past them of being corrupt. This is this is um in this picture that I'm showing you. In this picture, she's actually a commander, but this is her. This is uh Michelle Staples. She is the wife, or maybe ex-wife, because he learned about the alleged affair. This is the ex-wife of the um, chief of police of South Holland, the very same place, the very same police department where the victim made the report of sexual assault. You guys put in the chat, do you think that she will get a fair, fair, fair and just investigation? Do you think? she would get one because they all dirty. All these people are dirty. All these people are dirty. So you get Andrew Holmes. He on the chop, chopping block. And Andrew Holmes is on the chopping block. And now you, you have Tangenique Miller. Ten, you can't. I, Tangenique Miller, she, I, she's probably trying to hide in the corner. Oh, I didn't do nothing. I barely say nothing in the meeting. But you, you're you're the administrator of the money. You, you're the keeper of the money, basically. Isn't she like the finance director? Well, if you directing the finance, then why we don't get no finances? Can somebody tell me that? So is she's not free and clear. This girl need to go to jail too. Let me see if I can share her picture because Je Jedediah Bonton Brown, he posted her standing in the corner looking sad somewhere. All her crying, look at her. Looking sad. Tangenique Miller. She got her eyes closed. This guy, he going to jail too. That's the attorney, Delgado. He going to jail. You can't tell me he ain't going to jail. 
you got Keith Freeman, Tiffany Henyard. Remember, she was doing she got that same suit on. I guess that's the same day she was doing that. Um, he asked her, did he go to Vegas? And she was like, hmm, hmm. And more Carstrange. No. Did you go to Vegas? And you knew you went to Vegas where the little girl got sexually assaulted. And I'm not going to call her a little girl. I, she's a grown woman, but she's still way younger than Andrew Holmes. I'm pretty sure she didn't do that willingly. I'm pretty sure she didn't uh, do Andrew Holmes willingly because he looks disgusting. Okay, so you got Tangenique Miller trying to close her eyes or whatever she's doing with her. She already got her prison braids in there. So she going to sing like Canary because she probably like, oh, I ain't never been in trouble before. At least I don't think I pulled her record up. So I don't think she ever been in trouble. But she she's she's the finance director. If you're the director of the finances. Why can't we have any finances? Why don't why don't we know where the money's going? So Tangenique Miller is on the clock chopping block. Um who wrote this? Man, these N words really on some surveillance state level shit huh that's what it says on this they tell certain people certain shit to see what gets back they don't trust none of y'all and tiff she's in springfield dodging cameras like it's a reality show lacy ain't no better chasing clout in springfield this goof ass nigga so mad Jedediah exposed his Tinder account. <laughs> Not the Tinder account. <laughs> Lazy, Lazy got a Tinder account. So mad. And you know, all they all of them married, right? All these police officers are married. I hear Keith Freeman, he's out there being uh, freaky deaky, and he married. Got young kids. They, they just got something. Something is wrong with the village of Dalton. I think something is wrong with the water, actually, because I can't believe the whole entire administration, besides four other people plus five, is effed up. You know, like the the people at the time. I'm not talking about the people that's not in front of the cameras. I'm talking about the people that actually sit on top. When you see on them at the board meeting, those people that's on the top, sitting on the top, all of them are corrupt, and all of them are probably doing each other. But anyway, he says, uh, mad that Jedediah spoke, exposed his Tinder account, and mad as f y'all laughing at this fat nigga calling himself muscular <laughs> okay he said he's muscular i am knocking him jedediah do not come to dalton bro uh he said it's on site he whooping your ass they all act like they in new jack city with burner phones <laughs> that's true one of my sources tells me that that's what they walk around. They use burner phones. Like if you're part of their administration, they give you a company phone, but the company phone is a burner phone. And if they, if they feel like it's compromised, Keith Freeman will swap it out. He will actually take your phone and give you a new one. So if they was actually texting you and stuff, you will not be able to... Uh, take those messages if it was some like some salacious stuff or something that was will criminalize them he will actually take your phone and give you another one burner phones um they don't trust each other they all talking about each other and um other to each other it's hilarious her inner circle is so square i damn near feel bad for her dumb ass and she she's really not that smart kamal realizing the grass is greener on the other side remember i told you i think kamal got another baby pregnant a woman pregnant 
I, I, I think he's not with his ex, uh, his wife anymore. I think they're divorced, but I'm not for sure. But Kamal, I hear he has another woman pregnant. Anyway, um, the grass ain't greener. Uh, closing down shop to play Stedman Graham. <laughs> Dude needs to wake up and smell the brunt hair weave and propose to uh, propose a poly situation with his wife and Tiff. <laughs> Bro, T Tiff eat cat and she down. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you welcome, nigga. <laughs> I low key f with Kamal. He a strong gut nigga. He knowing Tiff getting down with other niggas, and he don't care. He all he, her old overpaid bodyguard Terry and Key. Who who is Terry? Who is Terry? Um, I guess Terry's one of the um police officers. Now he did simp over to Keith that one time and they got caught. They got into a fight. Okay. Before y'all get excited, both of them niggas lost. <laughs> Who wrote this? <laughs> they can't fight this nigga playing the long game with her ass. LOL. 100 bands to clap the cheeks. <laughs> My nigga Kamal, the real MVP. <laughs> what the hell? And Freeman, this goofy, has gone from Tesla to Maserati to now just driving the company Tahoe every day because his Maserati got uh, he he got um what is it called repo. He probably trying to hide it. Maybe it didn't get repo. He probably trying to hide it too from getting repo, right? Um, and he's, he made sure to take care of his side nigga steward in ESDA though. He got him a brand new fire explorer with a police light so he can feel important. Uh, keep the sugar daddy. Hey, why this, <laughs> hey, why this nigga got so many meaningless stars on his shirt like he's a decorated veteran or some shit y'all it's a clown show here for real <laughs> oh my god that that was hilarious so this this is um i think this is this is ain't this is not keith freeman or maybe this is keith freeman i thought this was um andrew holmes he's driving this yeah andrew holmes look at him they caught him in the um, auto parts store or something like that. I don't know what he was getting. He trying to hide, ducking, ducking and hiding. Haven't been showing up to work. That's this is not this is Tiffany House, you guys. Tiffany, Tiffany is um. Let me just go to the post. It says, Mayor Henyer, where are you going? And why are those guys dressed like this? Is this the feds? Do you have roaches? Are you just moving? <laughs> why the big trucks? <laughs> and not, not the 1999 special. They got a bunch of big trucks. Maybe they moving out of town. They, they, they look, Tiffany on the run. This was just two days ago. They moving something. They moving something. What's going on? They are moving something. What's going on? Tiffany is on the move. On the move. Crazy. Um, let me just go back to that.
and you got your your boy Andrew Holmes at the AutoZone. He at the AutoZone. And that's the car he driving. So Tiffany, Tiffany Hinger, uh cronies. Um, they haven't mentioned the other guy. He's been remaining silent. The other trustee. Um, what's the trustee name? The other trustee that just read, you know, the financial report, but he doesn't have a financial, he's over the finance committee, but he don't have a financial background. I, I used to laugh and called him the gen. He used to be a janitor, a retired janitor, but I think he worked at, um, he was a plumber. <laughs> I never could remember what kind of job he had, but it, it was something. It, it would had nothing to do with finances, <laughs> uh, but you have a trustee house and a uh, Belcher they directly deal with finances in their day-to-day -day job. You think they will be over the finance committee, but no, they got a plumber and a janitor over, over the finance committee. People that don't have nothing to do with finances. And then the administrator, big old goofy Keith, square Keith, um, corny Keith, he is um, over the finances per se too. He has access to thousands of credit cards and he can't even, he, he can't even manage his own finances because he's filing for bank. Well, apparently not. He's not filing for bankruptcy, bankruptcy now, but he can't manage his own money or other villages money allegedly because they suing them for stealing money from another township. <laughs> like this is crazy. Now, uh, like I said, the other the other um, trustee, he's been remaining quiet. Uh, Tangenique Miller, she should be on the chopping block. And um, those those people um, from um, the people from Thornton Township, those trustees, they should be on the chop chopping block too. They they need to get out. Tiffany Henyard, this is the post that she just shared. To all y'all clowns that's part of the circus, misery needs company. I pray for you all. Stop chasing fake news. <laughs> Look, she said, Friday, April 19th, the FBI did not raid Village Hall today as being falsely reported. <laughs> Tiffany, she's talking about if you want the tea, get it from me. You up there lying. You got you to lie on Facebook because you can't garden att attention because the, the media would not even interview you no more. They, they don't even want to talk to you anymore because you tell so many lies or you dodge the question. She said, to all y'all clowns that's part of this circus, misery needs company. I pray for you all. She said it was fake news. You, you can't make this up. This is crazy. I'm going to take a screenshot of that. Tiffany is calling this fake news. Uh-uh-uh. Tiffany is calling this fake news, but we, we, we knew that she, she was going to come out and say that. Okay, Tiff, why, why aren't you, um, why aren't you, at the village of, uh, village hall, if it was fake, if it's fake news, because you're scared, you're running, you're running scared. Uh, Jedediah says she is out on her, uh, she is out of her damn mind. It is a shame, but we knew she would fight and hold her delusion because it's real mental illness. It's real mental illness. She destroys 
and sensible goodwill or sympathy for her. This is why I put out some of the facts of what happened. I love my team. We foresaw this response. Yeah, it, I mean, that's like, it's not, it's not, um, I didn't want to go to that page. I wanted to go to Dalton politics. It's not a surprise. Y'all, they, you know, the internet be internet. Dang, is this Lacey in Springfield with his match? I'm not going to say that. <laughs> Asking for a friend. Okay. Call it what you want. Raid, meet up, tea time, or whatever. At the end of the day, authorities are on your ass. Right. It says the chopper video shows FBI activity at Dalton Village. Uh, the FBI confirmed that the agency is conducting a court authorized law enforcement activity on Village Hall today. Okay, this is uh, John E. Pat. I don't know who that is, but they executed a subpoena for records and documents a step below a search warrant so there was not a raid based on legal definition come on now stop it stop it search warrant is the same thing as a raid you got to have a search warrant you have to have a warrant for you to come in and take a documents i mean come on now so he must be uh one of those people that loves Tiffany that that's this is just stupid if the court issue a subpoena for evidence that means the FBI had to articulate to the judge a need to local said uh, I think he meant locate said records which confirms that there is a criminal investigation that is ongoing I, I I don't understand why he put that anyway. Okay. Um, crazy, 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 crazy. So we got Keith Freeman, Andrew Holmes, Tom, um, Keith Freeman, Andrew Holmes, What's the guy's uh, name that, um, let me see, Dalton, Village of Dalton. I need to pull up the trustees. Chief Lacey, the guy who is in, on Parks and Rec, what's, what's his name? I think his name is Corral. His name is Steve or something like that. I hear he's um, turning on Tiffany. This guy is turning on Tiffany. That's what I'm hearing. Stanley Brown. Trusty Stanley Brown. That's that's um Stan Brown he hasn't he's been pretty silent pretty silent and he's probably glad that nobody's looking at him Okay, so let me see if I could get back to what I was talking about. Village of Dalton. Oh, you know what? I wanted to share this with you guys. Mm. 
This is Jedediah Brown again. <laughs> it's the police. So do y'all like them or y'all don't? Okay, you guys, listen to me. As you all know, not too long ago, the feds just raided, or we're not even going to say raided. We're going to say that the feds just visited the village hall in Dalton. And I want to just be petty right now because y'all don't know how much stuff that I go through in this. All the people talking shit. Ain't no feds out there. Ain't no feds out there. You need to stop putting out false information. You need to stop being so obsessed. They quiet in the motherfucker, but when the news put it out, then they ain't got nothing. Oh, okay, I guess it was some feds. They funny as hell to me. Yes, the feds was at the village hall. And the the feds didn't come up there with a uh, with with forty police trucks and 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 all this other stuff with lights and sirens. They came in a very regular car, and they came in there with one woman, and I believe it was I, I, I just put it up there. I think three or four men, uh, just like people was like feds don't use you hauls. Yes, they do. <laughs> It depends on what they're going after. They do undercover work. Y'all do know that, right? So anyway, uh, everybody that's been talking shit, especially all these advocates, I want to give you all an opportunity right now to come on home. The writing is on the wall. And anybody that's trying to be in defense of this at this particular moment, you just don't want to admit you look foolish. And I would encourage all of y'all to do two things. Uh, shut up um, and start writing your apologies. Your credibility is going to be on the line. Start writing your apologies. And this is why y'all need to. They're not going to write no apologies. You think Tiffany Henyard and her, uh, I guess, strong supporters going to write apologies? No, they they support Tiffany very strongly. Some of the people that she ain't even padding their pocket be kiss, kiss, kissing in tip, Tiffany's butt because they getting free stuff. They like her so much because she give a lot of free stuff away. Anyway, they're they're speculating on this Dalton politics uh, page. They're speculating that um, Lori Lightfoot has something to do with the subpoena records. I doubt it. I don't think Lori Lightfoot she she uh, moved that fast, fast, but maybe maybe so. Maybe I, I got it wrong. But on one of these posts, and I, this is the second time I've seen it, it says. Um, more than likely, today has something to do with Mrs. Lightfoot. Why are they calling her Mrs.? Is she married? And is she, she's lesbian. So do you, do they take on the name Mrs.? I, I'm not for sure. That's neither here nor there. But anyway, reason being is they went, went straight to the village, which Lightfoot was hired by. No, nah, nah. see, this person is not very informed. The the FBI been investigating uh, Tiffany Henyard. The FBI's been investigating Tiffany Henyard. That's that's not a rumor. That's true. We know the FBI have sat down with Tiffany Henyard, Keith Freeman, um, Jason House. It's, I'm not going to reveal other sources, but another person that I know that used to work for Tiffany Henyard sat down with um, the FBI and they actually confiscated her computer. So all these people have been interviewed by the FBI for some months now. So we know it is the FBI. They probably went through the information that they already had and they trying to find something else, okay? They're probably trying to put the pieces together before they go before the grand jury to indict Tiffany Henyard and whoever else is on the chopping block, okay? So they probably will be at the doorstep of Township Monday. Well, you know, I don't, I wouldn't say um, it's, that's why I wouldn't say it's Lori Lightfoot. I would just tell, totally say this is just all to do with Tiffany Hinder and stuff surrounding Tiffany Hinder in the FBI, whatever the FBI is searching. Um, Lori Lightfoot, 
She just got hired in about a week or two ago. She, I'm pretty sure she doesn't have all the information to go to the judge and say, oh, I need this particular piece of information and they're not giving it to me. That's that's really not how that works. Anyway, and matter of fact, Lori Lightfoot is not, she doesn't work for the state. She doesn't work for um, the federal government. She's acting as a private, a private attorney or a private investigator. So right now she she has pool because she knows the, these people, but she's not tied into the court, you know. Now she could pass on the information to the FBI or whoever, and maybe or the DOJ or Attorney General, and maybe they'll get the information. But she she's acting as a private investigator. Um. I showed this video already to you guys. So it says, um, we already seen that part. And he put it on there twice. Uh, somebody being smart. It says they are going, they are going to find out she is totally lawful with the spending and she wasn't being transparent because she has a big surprise for Dalton. <laughs> she has a big surprise for Dalton, you guys. <laughs> this guy keep on posting the same comment. This was on Tiffany Henry. Let's look at Tiffany Henry's page. They said Tiffany Henry popular now because she's trending. So she dancing, keep going, keep growing, keep climbing. Okay, Tiffany, she's so ghetto. And so she she out there dancing 10 hours before or five hours prior to her um at the fbi coming to her office and they put it on the village of dalton page village of dalton page they actually put um A post Friday, April 19th, the FBI did not raid Village Hall today as is being falsely reported. No further comments at this time. AOR. Who is AOR? I don't know who that is. But Tiffany is running scared, actually. Um, so we got we have Keith Freeman, uh, Trustee Stan Brown, 
Lacey, we, oh, if you guys didn't watch the other live stream with uh, the mother, the mother for, um, let me just, Carl Wilson, the girl who got killed by a Dalton police officer. I had her on my live stream uh, last Friday. And she was explaining how um, the police officer that assaulted her hit the girl in the face a few times before, she, you know, she even got out the car. He came up to the car and asked her to get out. And I guess she didn't want to get out because she wasn't dressed. He punched her in the face. Well, he has uh, a few bodies on him. He's going around killing people. Okay. And then Lacey, Lacey, he's pretty corrupt too. Um, he was involved in the car crash, the speed, the chase that the village of Dalton had to award the individuals $33 million just recently. That was Lacey because he thought it was okay to chase somebody on a, 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 a street and he ended up injuring both of the boys severely. Um, let me just... share this with you. It says a large verdict was issued against the village of Dalton after a deadly crash involving police. Now, and Lacey, Lacey was one of the cops that was involved with that deadly cra crash. And it said a total of $33.5 million was paid out to a family of a man killed during an attempted police stop in Dalton and another man who was severely injured. That's your boy Lacey. So he's dirty. All all of them dirty. And he's at the at the on the at the township saying, "Hey, I didn't know there was a well, they're, they're not trying to uh, repossess our, our police cars because I would know that. No, you wouldn't know that because you don't pay the bills. <laughs> so they thought Trustee House was lying until he had records and proof to show that they received the letter from the bank saying, hey, we're coming to get your cars tomorrow. And they rushed and cut a $75,000 check to pay that to pay those bills. You guys, let me just check the chat. Um, Yeah, they they rushed um 75 they cut a check for $75,000. John Luna, thank you for the super chat. Thank you for the super chat. Let me just Sam Atkins I can't see you on the other stream. Um, I, that's why I had to go to this one. But yeah, you guys, John, San App Atkins, thank you for the super chat. He says, what is the color of the Illinois prison garb? How long before we see her cronies in them? <laughs> right. How long before we see, uh, uh, what's her name? Tiffany Henyard. I don't know why it's not coming up on this list. Tiffany Henyard and her her cronies. 
in, in um they probably got orange jumpsuits. They either orange or black and white. I'm not for sure. Orange or black and white. Let me go back to Jed Jedediah while he was talking. To apologize, and this is and this is so important to me because um, it's it's important to me because a lot of y'all call y'all selves fighting for what's right, and this is why I've learned that most of the people, and I come at them because I I want to, I can, and I need to. I have now learned through trial and error and years of service what real advocacy is. Advocacy is not standing up and repeating what everybody says. It's not showing up in the middle of pain and just giving people voice because you're charismatic or you're orator. I have not gotten on one news programming and I don't need to because real advocacy is digging into the information, finding out the facts and working towards the truth. Real advocacy is not popular and it's not fun. It's not comfortable and hell, it ain't even convenient. And all these people out here that wanna be advocates because of the news and because people recognize you and they say your name, real advocacy is dangerous. And so what I wanna say in that end is that a lot of these advocates need to apologize because they've been doing this bullshit of giving uh, of 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 fanning flames. Real advocates start fires, okay? And 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 they said that I don't get full of yourself, don't glow. No, I'm not. I've been going through hell for years, and finally, I've been a man praying. God vindicate me. God show my heart. God, and now He's doing it. I don't have to be humble. I'm gonna be honest, and now it's time to put people in their place because real advocates don't work on rumor. You work on the resource of real facts. And so listen to me. And why am I saying all of this in this video? It is because these individuals need to stop identifying in this as, oh, I'm a black man. This is a black woman. And they gave resources to the black community. Get out of the mustard and catch up. This has nothing to do with color. This has nothing to do, and so many other individuals, I understand why Chris Moore and Keith Price are fighting for her because they've been fighting for something to come into our community for a long time, and finally somebody is giving you something. But look at this, $100,000 is trinkets when you see the mismanagement of $7 million. It is, this, it, 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 is, it is so minute. Things being given away to township is so minute when you see people's water bills are skyrocketing and people's civil rights are being oppressed and people are people people are being allegedly raped and they're being uh, retaliated against and targeted. This isn't about color. This isn't about sex. This isn't about resources reaching a uh, uh, under resourced community. This is about government ruling over people. And so today, now we see that the FBI raided, and I'm going to say this because I want y'all to understand. I am not trying to prop myself up. I'm just being honest, and people don't have to like it. But I am not saying, oh, I am I got some. Let me just say this. I know why the FBI was there today. And there is a respect now with the, with the amongst a collaborative effort of sharing information. So I know way more than what most people know. I know what the FBI was there for. It took two phone calls when I got off of the live. When I was on the live, if you go look at it a few moments ago, I kept pushing my screen down because I was getting an alert. They was alerting me, get to the chat, get to the chat. And they was trying to tell me that the FBI was at the building. And it was very inconspicuous, very low key. But they went in there and they this, this is what I want to tell y'all because I think this was so amazing. And we got video, but I'm not going to share the video because I'm not going to go to jail for obstructing, obstructing obstruction of justice or putting out information that I shouldn't be putting out. But I, or I, nor am I going to lose the cooperation of a collaborative effort. I started doing this by myself. 
for the sexual allegation and the track just went go bigger and bigger and bigger and i want y'all know i know people ain't gonna like this but y'all i told y'all to hashtag and y'all can hashtag it again the lori effect the lori effect the lori effect but there's a bigger effect going on and that is the effect of the people so let me get to this this woman this female federal agent goes to the door and says Basically, y'all know they got to shut off where you can't get in. And she says, open the door. Uh, this is, okay, this is, um, let me see, how do I say this? This agent says, open the door. Now, like they trying to, you know, who are you, what you want? Open the door, I'm the FBI. Open the door now. Don't alert nobody or you're going to go with us type of thing like they was on some real movie type sh and they basically said open the door and don't you hesitate and i oh i just wish i was there why didn't i have a reason to be there to see that <laughs> how many times are we all had to go stand at that window i would have loved to see a, a, a short woman say open the damn door and do it now don't alert nobody i'm the fbi and so they went in there and they went into the basement. They took employees and they went into the basement and they were looking for very specific things. Now, if you know anything about the FBI, they know that when they move, it becomes headlines. And so this is the point of the video right here. I ain't going to tell y'all what they was looking for, who they was looking for, what they got going on. But I have an understanding now of what's happened or what's happening. If you know anything about the feds, when they move, it ain't too much further after because they know exactly what they're looking for and they look they know exactly the direction that they're going the one thing about the feds is that they have to be certain when they're getting federal warrants to do certain things i'm saying a lot without saying nothing which means that we can uh, we can estimate that this thing within a matter of weeks if not days it, we're going to see some real movement. And so then that puts me into this place where I ask the general public this question. I have reports. I got stuff that we have we collect, that we have shared back and forth with people who are important to this information. But I need you all to understand this. I think that we're at the beginning of the end. And I believe that there's going to be some very, very disheartening things that are going to come out. I can't share everything that we have, but I'm going to tell y'all what. Let me, you know what? I got a call today, this morning, that blew me away. It is these people's arrogance. It is their sure arrogance that's destroyed, that's, 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 that's causing them to fall. Andrew Holmes getting on the news and says, I ain't worried about it. He shouldn't have never did that. I got a call today. I said, oh, I never would have thought that I would have got a call from this person. This person. I ain't know. How, how did you get my number? It is an honor to speak with you. But I want you all to know that the world is watching. The powers that be is watching. It's over with. It is their sheer arrogance. And she on the video, follow me. Follow me. She trying to show y'all I'm okay. I'm unbothered on a video at Thorn at Thorn with a Thorn Township truck in the back giving out some kind of. Way. She Tiffany Henyer does that. She's doing that out of uh, nervous. It's just for show. But you know she's shitting bricks right now. Um, Tiffany, she she's one of those arrogant, narcissistic type people. She's gonna appear like nothing bothers her but it's killing her. It's killing her because she can't control the narrative. It's killing her that she can't control the things that's happening to her right now. It's really killing her. It, it, all, with all her bodyguards in place, all, all the money that she has access to, she cannot control this storm that's coming for her. And it's killing her. So that's why she's on the internet um, marching and she has the workers in the background. What, may, what mayor does that? 
Matter of fact, Thornton Township should be a full-time job, number one. Um, then your, your the mayorship should be a part-time thing. I hear Tiffany Henyer, she does work up uh, long hours, but you you acting like this is not bothering you, and, and, and it is. We we could tell everybody knows that it's bothering you. Um, and she's probably in the background behind closed doors cussing people out because she can't control it. Welfare uh, 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 services that she's supposed to be offering, and, and she's sitting up there trying to look like. And I'm just going on the thread, and I'm just reading the comments. You girl, don't be, don't be worried, and you the gold, and all this other foolishness. I'm looking at the comment. Follow me, tongue white as hell. And like Godly, look like she been eating white out in the car. You know her breath stink, girl. You so busy trying to prove that you ain't doing nothing, that you okay. You so busy still trying to feed your ego that you trying to get on live showing you okay. And your tongue ain't you ain't even brushed your tongue. You following in the in, in the pollution in the air going through the roof in that area. But this is what's crazy. <laughs> the pollution. She doing that. These people are on there. Girl, don't worry about it. You must be doing something right if they talking. Well, what they gonna say now? She done been she over there. Follow me. Follow me. Let me say this. The same people that's talking saying girl you must be doing something right they just jealous they just mad they doing that because you black these people will be the same people they're going to be saying um when they indict tiffany here they're not going to say oh i know oh they doing that because she was the first black woman Oh, they doing that because they she's prejudiced white people they prejudiced white people do this all the time Oh, she was just looking for, out for her own people. That's why they locking her up. Oh, she she was spreading the love. That's that's why they locking up uh, her up. That's why black folks they don't even support black. You know, we should have been supporting her instead of tearing her down like that. T. O. Hardman, Harderman and that other guy. What's his name? Um, I forget what his name is, but I hear he he's a um, a sex offender too. But those same people are going to be saying the same damn thing, and but they're going to double down on it. They're going to say, oh, the FBI, the government just don't want black people to be in power. It's really ridiculous. Really ridiculous. No, you did your own black people wrong. Tiffany Henyer did her own people wrong. Her own taxpayers, 90% black, you did them wrong. And they had to call outside reinforcement. And they really tried to give you a chance. Uh, they had to call outside reinforcement because you was acting like an ass. You were so arrogant. You you have three, four bodyguards at a time like you, you somebody famous. And you working for a small town. Just really ridiculous. Really? Yeah. And, they, and the FBI all in her. <laughs> the F FBI, FBI in her. All in the building. Uh, all in the building. <laughs> okay. And I'm just talking about follow me. You follow girl, you like to jail. This is fun. This ain't fun. And 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 it's not fun. It it I, I felt sorry at first, but no, you can't. You can't. And then somebody, I put out something based on our fact checking, and we found out somebody didn't lie to me. I'm the wrong nigga. I'm the wrong person to lie about lie to. And I'm trying to figure out why would you lie to me about something that I fact check? And we literally got proof that the person's lying to me, and I'm giving them until Sunday, and then I'm letting they file out because you shouldn't have lied to me. I don't appreciate it. And this person could have had help. So these this these people's arrogance. Arrogant. And so with that being said, the FBI raided the facility. They're looking for specific things, specific people, which means that they are close to charges, which means that time is pretty much up. And if anybody was doubting that there is a federal probe, 
Well, now you have your official proof. So here is the question that I then asked y'all. And this is why I'm asking you all this question. We can stop at this point. We can stop. We got fouled. We was just starting to expand our research into the finance man of Thornton Township. We can't even stay inside of Dalton no more. This thing then took a life of its own. Yeah. I was trying my best to stay as focused as possible. But now we done expanded our our inquiry into Thornton Township and we are using the resources to the best of our ability. And 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 just to report, we gave one of the victims some money, not a lot of money. And so that is the only thing that has been done with the people's fund to help pay a bill or something that was for one of the victims and I'll be giving you all specific about information about that later. I have to because it, I t took resources from that, but everything else has been used for uh, wars for information and investigation and now organizing. So here is my question. Um, here is my question. I ain't afraid of these motherfuckers. They got people, two people got restraining, one person got a restraining order and then another one has an alleged restraining order, but I ain't scared. Are you scared? So with that being said, the feds is making their moves. We was, I didn't know, I, I, we, this was supposed to be hell week. We tried, we postponed it so that we could participate with the residents and their protests and their gathering. And uh, now here's my question. Do you all want hell week or no? Because my, my feel, we don't need it. But what is hell week? I want Hell Week to be the opportunity for every victim to have the support and the backing of hundreds of people moving through that village that they didn't have for the last two years. I want show I want people to see their power and I want them to be able to organize and gather and in the face of tyranny, see, you cannot stop us now. Ain't no stopping us now. We on the move. It is also about releasing the receipts, giving the real receipts that I couldn't, I wasn't uh, astute enough to put on the online. We were going to rent a truck and we're going to put real receipts of actual things that I've not even yet talked about on live, about everybody who we researched. And then I wanted to march with the. I wanted to march and the victims in the front. Everybody that's been ever locked out of a building. Everybody that has something happen to them. Everybody that was used and abused, mishandled. Everybody who was threatened and they had their civil rights violated. Everybody who felt like they didn't have backup. And everybody who, and I want, I wanted everybody in the world who thought that Dalton was insignificant and wasn't worth this press to see the world now come and stand behind Dalton and Give them hell. That is the purpose of Hell Week. And so with that being said, but we also wanted this to happen. And so on my question to the public, 400 people on this live, do you all want Hell Week to proceed or no? And if you're going to say it, I'm going to go back on this live and I'm going to ask every one of y'all to participate. And I don't want to hear shit about I don't I can't be there, I can't contribute, I can't do nothing because we then don't don't say nothing. So do you all FBI stole y'all Hell Week? Nah, FBI was a part of Hell Week. They kick it. They, hey, we tried to postpone it. They kicking it off. <laughs> and I'm telling you, y'all ain't seen the worst of it. That's the crazy part. No, um, I I think um, as far as the sex sex offenses, I think that is going to um, be part of, the, I believe that's part of the FBI investigation, not only the money, but sex offenses. I hear there's drug trafficking. Um, there's, um, they call Tiffany allegedly a madam, allegedly. I have some people in my inbox saying, Tiffany is considered a madam. Okay. I believe Jedediah talked about that a few weeks ago, that some of um, T Tiffany is looked as a madam. Okay. So we have drugs, sexual allegation, um, allization. <laughs> we have sexual allegations. Um, we have finance, fi we're talking about government finances that they've screwed up, 
or mismanaged, misused. Theft, okay? Intimidation. She used the police department to for intimidation. Hey, you don't donate to my campaign. I'm going to intimidate you. So she's using the police department for intimidation. Oh, you don't agree with me. You're not supporting me. I'm I'm not going to um release your business license. So I I think there's a big broad more than what we've seen we know the intimidation and all that we know the misuse of the finances but i think it's more into that sexual um assaults uh trafficking drugs and people drugs and people you guys it's more to that and i'm not just saying stuff room, rumor stuff so these things that I know first, not firsthand, but for people that's been in my inbox and they've either worked for Thornton Township or the village of Dalton. So I think, I think it's going to be some stuff that's going to come out and a lot of people are going to be surprised, but I'm telling you, don't be surprised because this, this runs deep. And also, I believe um, Tiffany, and I said this in, in my other live stream, I've said this before, Tiffany is being protected by somebody of a higher power. Tiffany is not the brains of the operation. Somebody else is the brains of her, of the operation. That, that's what I'm thinking. That's why Tiffany is still around. And she was able to get away with a lot of stuff that she's doing now. It's some shit that's been, well, this stuff is so interesting, but hell week, I'm telling y'all going, it's, it's, yeah, it's going, it would embarrass, man. Let me give you all a sample of what I'm talking about. There are some people who got some very crazy stuff that they're going to release if I announce Hell Week. Okay? People's body parts. People's deeds. And this ain't, and I'm saying it on record. This ain't stuff that I had. I'm talking about other people had. And we got proof, we got receipts of property dealings and hiding money, laundering money, uh, 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 a, a culture of people pay to play, people fucking for advancement, um, people being bribed, people being blackmailed. We got all kinds of shit, okay? Kim, that, that inspector, girl, you know you bogus. Them getting 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 them money for helping people get permits. Y'all bullying people out of properties, and then y'all friends getting them and enriching themselves, trying to have money in real estate. We got all that shit, but I ain't put it out. We got people who got jobs and places that they don't supposed to have by the rules. They don't even live in the township. Working. We got family members nepotism, fraternizing. We got. Do y'all want hell week or no? Fuck it. I'm okay. So here it go. 424 people do we want to let the fans do this but don't tell me y'all want this and then y'all don't show up that means that i'm getting on a plane and i'm coming to chicago and we giving them hell for a whole week or we say look y'all the fans doing their thing i told y'all charges is inevitable and a lot of people owe y'all apologies Chris Moore was just on my thread a few moments ago talking to me about why he support this administration. Keith Price said he would apologize to y'all if he found corruption to be honest and true. Well, everybody quiet. Uh, T.O., love you. I told you he was going to lose. I literally just put on my thing, not even knowing that the FBI was there. I said, look, I'm convinced this ain't going to go the way y'all wanted to think it's going to go. And that is because I am now 
in a collaborative, y'all got to understand the power of what I'm saying, a collaborative effort. I understand what's going on. I know it. And I can't say a lot of stuff. But because I can't. But even if Tiffany come on there and try to act like, oh, they wasn't looking for me. Yes, they was. Well, we know that Tiffany is going to act like they weren't looking for her. Um, we already seen it. She already came out with a post saying, oh, they lying. This is fake news. They lying. This is fake news. Um, there you have it, folks. I'm not going to play his video. You know, if you want to look at Jedediah's video, you could go on Facebook and look and no shade of Jedediah because I like, I, he, I think it's very entertaining, but I'm not going to play it through, throughout the live stream. Um, there you have it, folks. You you got Tiffany Henyard. She acting like she untouchable. She thinking she uh, going through with the in the city. Got her um, police surrounding her. Um, she's untouchable. She walking in there like Nino Brown, strong arming people. Uh, Y'all black. Y'all beating and attacking on a black woman. Tiffany, come on now. Is did she say beating and attacking or feeding and attacking? I, I don't know what she said. Beating and attacking on a black, black woman. Come on, Tiffany. <laughs> Why are you attacking on the black people? Why are you doing that? Uh Michael Smith, Andrea King. Andrea King put it in there. M Michael Smith. That's that's his name. Michael Smith, that's he. I hear he's a um a sex offender, child molester, or something like that. But she she knows she's wrong. She's wrong, and the truth ain't in her. I got I got a song that I want to play for Tiffany. I want to play this song for Tiffany. Let me see where my song at. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when it come for you? I need to make a um a video with all they face going across the street <laughs> screen with they uh you know the police garbs on or not police but prison garbs on <laughs> bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you, bad boys, bad boys? <laughs> All right, you guys, that was it. I know y'all didn't come in and hear me sing. Um, it's it's a witch hunt. She gonna be saying it's a witch hunt. Yes, that's what that you beating and attacking on a black woman. It's a witch hunt. Um, so you guys stay tuned. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get some more news. If some more news break tomorrow, I'll probably go live. I, I probably go live tomorrow. If not, I'll see you guys on Monday. Okay. I really appreciate every single last one of you guys. Let me uh, just share this um, other channel with you. If you like more politics, you want to tune into this channel. Where's Shawan 2.0? Uh, I want you guys to go go there, go Shawan Burns 2.0 and subscribe to this channel. Do me a solid. Really appreciate it. Okay. Um, okay. So I am sending all my good to you. I will talk to you soon.